everyone, I think that perhaps everyone's favorite phones on the internet are flagship killers. They have all the power you might want, but without breaking the bank. The Realme GT 5G is one such phone that proved to be very popular in China, but until recently, it wasn't widely available. So now that it's easier to get internationally, what should you expect? I'm Angie for GSM Arena, and these are the key features of the Realme GT 5G. As far as looks go, you can choose to go with the very flashy gold and black vegan leather version of the phone, or one of the more subtle glass back options like the blue one we have here. It's easy to hold and surprisingly light. For those who prefer more hefty devices, it might feel less premium, but personally, I'm fond of the lightweight. It's glass, so there will be an abundance of fingerprints here. The protective case included in the box really helps with that, but you might really want to use it because there's no mention of Gorilla Glass here, nor is there any splash protection. On the front is a 6.43 inch Super AMOLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and a 360Hz sampling rate. At first glance, it's a very contrasty and colorful panel. There's a small hole punch in the upper left corner that holds the wide angle 16 megapixel selfie cam and on the bottom of the screen is an optical fingerprint reader. The Realme GT has Dolby Atmos stereo speakers and we're loving that this is becoming a trend. We hope that it sticks for good. There's also a headphone jack and aside from the legacy port, you'll find support for Bluetooth 5.2 and NFC for wireless payments. The phone comes with 8 or 12 gigs of RAM and either 128 gigabytes or 256 gigabytes of UFS 3.1 flash storage. There's no card slot here, but this should be plenty of space for most use cases. The Realme GT sports Qualcomm's flagship, the Snapdragon 888 5G. The phone shouldn't get too warm while gaming or other sustained heavy use cases. This is because it has stainless steel vapor cooling that Realme is saying should reduce core temperatures up to 15 degrees Celsius. Battery life should be good with the 4,500 mAh battery, but charging is what's really impressive here. With the 65 watt Super Dart charger, Realme is saying that you should be able to charge the phone from flat to 100% in 35 minutes. As far as software is concerned, the GT has Realme UI 2.0 on top of Android 11. The phone has a triple camera setup that consists of a 64 megapixel main camera, an 8 megapixel Ultraroid snapper, and a 2 megapixel macro cam. It also supports 4K video capture at 60 FPS. In short, there seems to be very little that this phone doesn't have, especially considering its 500 euro price tag. Still, what that means is that there's a lot to test out here, from the cameras to the heat management to the crazy fast charging. So if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and we'll try to get to them in the full review. Subscribe so you don't miss it and I'll see you guys next time.